Questions 18 to 23 refer to the information below. The statements below were obtained by a historian from one individual. And so without reading all these, I'll just say this first statement right here mentions the WPA, which gives me uh, a good indication that we're talking about the Depression, the Great Depression. And they're talking about jobs. So WPA and jobs. And then statement two, uh, things that they would do as kids for money. So money as kids. And then statement three is, if you go along, uh, talking about the president. So good at uh, doing stuff with distribution of food in foreign countries, but not couldn't make it as president. And four uh, would be how they entertain themselves. So this president. And then four was entertainment. All in the context of the Great Depression. So 18, which of the following is the common focus of the four statements? Difficulty of finding a good job. There'd only be one or two of them that focus on that. Childhood experiences with just one. Experiences associated with the Great Depression, that captures all four. So it would be C. And D, reasons people become dissatisfied with government. Again, that might just be one or two. 19. To evaluate whether a dollar was pretty good money at that time, which of the following questions would be most useful to ask? How much could a dollar buy? Yes. How generous were people in paying for favors? It doesn't give you a relative idea of the money. C. How many horses were in the teams used to pull the cars out of the mud? It has nothing to do with the dollar. And how much money was in circulation in the economy? I would ask relative to what? How many people are there? There are a lot of unknowns there that you need to be able to answer what is pretty good money. 20. Which of the following best summarizes the speaker's opinion of the president discussed in Statement 3? He was a good president who was especially effective in foreign affairs. Well, no, look at Statement 3. People were getting pretty disgusted with him. He was merely making promises. He got a lot of credit for the way he handled U.S. distribution of foreign countries. That's a positive. But he couldn't make it as president. So let's go back to 20. And no, can't be A. He was not a good president in here. B, he was a good president, but Congress failed to pass his programs. Nope. C, even though he had been effective in other governmental roles, like distributing goods in foreign countries, he wasn't an effective president. Yes. D, he was an effective president because he lacked experience in government and administration. No, they did give him credit for some other things. 21. Which of the following most likely represents what is meant by the sentence, and of course, Congress was dead? A, Congress had been adjourned because of a lack of operating funds. You have no idea on that. Most members of Congress were ready to retire. Again, no context for that. C. Most members of Congress had little legislative experience. Again, that's doubtful that that's the majority. And again, no context. D. Congress lacked ideas to solve major problems. We're talking about the Great Depression. They were saying that ah, there was a lot of poverty and lack of jobs and horrible, horrible conditions. Congress doesn't know what to do about it. D. 22. Which of the following activities would be the best way to determine how accurately the four statements represent conditions of the period? Alright, so the key word is accurately. A. Examine local newspapers and national magazines of the time period. Yes, you're going to have a lot of fairly objective sources and you'd be looking at quite a few of them from the time period. A. B. A novel would not be very objective or accurate. C. Determine how well educated the speaker is. No, that's not relative to the accuracy. Or D. View a movie set in a time period. Their focus is on telling a story and a narrative, not being extremely accurate in the historical details. And finally, 23. 
Which of the following pieces of information best indicates what time period was being discussed? Family get-togethers were popular pastimes. Now, that's been true for a lot of generations across the decades and centuries. Both horses and cars were being used for transportation. That's a good indicator. It's a transition time, so it's going to be B. C, people were unhappy with the president. Now, that happens in all kinds of different generations and decades. And the president was promising greater prosperity. Now, they're always doing that. So, B is your answer.